Hey there, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Denise Joy. In today's video, I'm sharing with you a step-by-step -step demo so you can create your very own custom on a budget shower curtain wall art. I'm going to show you how I took a $2.99 shower curtain and a $7.99 canvas wood frame and turned it into something fantastic. Now let's get to it. Before we jump to our shower curtain, I have some great tips for using framed fabric as wall art. Using the right kind of frame, you can frame virtually any kind of fabric. Here's a great tip. When you have a complicated pattern, lay the pattern out on the floor first, measure it, transfer your measurements to the wall, and you'll get it right every time. In this photo, I am showing you Kuba cloth, which is one of my most favorite fabrics. It has tons of character and a lot of texture. In this shot, I have actually framed it under glass. You can also frame any kind of fabric without glass or any kind of top at all. Now for the main event, our shower curtain wall art hack. Step number one, select your fabric. I found this gorgeous boho influenced shower curtain at my local thrift store. Just $2.99, you can't beat that and it is in fantastic condition. Step number two, make sure to iron it well. You don't want any wrinkles, any little creases. You want it to be smooth and flawless. Of course, Clean your shower curtain. Clean anything that you get from any secondhand store, Facebook marketplace, clean it first. Step three, you want to center your fabric. Mark the center of your frame and center that fabric. Step four, you're going to staple one side, just one side to stabilize it. Step five, cut off the excess fabric. I'm using a pair of pinking shears here, but you can use any scissors you have. Just make sure they're sharp enough for the fabric you're using. Step six, once again, check to make sure that your fabric is centered. For this boho shower curtain, I wanted one of the medallions in the center and one corner of the other medallions at each corner of the frame. Here's a different example of a fabric shower curtain that I did. And this one, I used this bold swatch of marble to make this beautiful pattern centered in the frame. Step seven, finish stapling that first side. Start from the center, moving out to the ends, making sure to put the staples close together. This really is a quick, easy, and simple project that's gonna give you that custom on a budget look to make your house different and unique from any other house on the block. All total, this project took me 20 minutes. Yep, that's it. Step eight, staple the other side of the fabric frame. You wanna pull the fabric, but don't pull it too tight. Just make sure it's secure. Start stapling from the center out to the sides. Step number nine, staple the third side of the fabric to the frame. Step number 10 is the money step exactly how to get those crisp, tight corners. One thing to remember, make sure you have cut away the excess fabric. That will make your corners much easier to do. It's a little like wrapping a present. You'll practice it a few times, but you'll get it. 
Final step, number 11, finish all the corners. Retail, this 36 by 24 inch canvas art would have run me somewhere between 75 and 125 bucks, but this was a $15 custom on a budget project. Give this video a thumbs up. Let everybody know that this is the video that shows you how to create your own shower curtain wall art. Share it with your friends. I promise you, you can do this. I even had enough fabric left over to make a matching pillow. How about that for snazzy jazzy? Tips to get budget-friendly canvas frames. Local thrift stores. There was everything in this thrift store from the size 60 by 40, which is a huge frame, down to 24 by 20. Nothing was over $19.99. In fact, you see, some of these were just $3.99. Great tip. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. I'd love to have you as a permanent part of my community. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video and hey, tell me what other videos you'd love to see. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.